Okay, so we're nearly at the end now. In the last episode, we talked about diagnosing and solving crashes, which is very helpful to know as you mod San Andreas. As usual, if you found the guide helpful so far, don't forget to give the videos a like and subscribe to the channel, as there's much more GTA modding content on the way. You're probably wondering however, where is the best place to download mods? And that's exactly what I'll cover in this episode, as well as some essential pro tips. So welcome to the 6th episode of the Ultimate Modding Guide for San Andreas. The first place I like to download mods from is Mix Mods, which we've already used plenty of times in this guide. Mix Mods has risen to the top of the modding scene in recent years, and they've done amazing work not only creating and fixing mods, but archiving mods that would have been lost to time years ago. The website is in a blog style format, however, there are categories on the right which allow you to filter what's shown. As you've seen earlier in the guide too, the website is in Portuguese, as it's a Brazilian website. However, your browser should all translate to your own language. If it doesn't, you can pick the language you want in the top right. Like I said, Mix Mods has done fantastic work. Some of the best mods in recent years are from Mix Mods, and they're all done well. Not only that, Mix Mods owner Junior regularly fixes older mods so they're more stable and feature rich. And best of all, all mods posted on Mix Mods are packaged with mod loader support in mind. So basically, if the mod supports mod loader and you download it from Mix Mods, the installation is always just dragging and dropping a folder from an archive into your mod loader folder. This is especially great for beginners. Overall, my top pick on where you should download mods from. Also, as a bit of an archivist myself, I really commend them for hosting and archiving so many mods. I think it's very important that older mods are available for as long as possible. GTA Forums is next. Possibly the oldest and biggest modding scene in GTA. So much originated on this forum. I'd basically call this the foundation of the GTA modding scene. While in recent years it's not as busy as it once was, it still contains a huge number of absolutely fantastic mods and it's always fun to browse to see what you can find. The main category if you're looking for mods is the mod showroom, which has subcategories to organize mods better. Mods can also have tags, so it's easier for you to search. Keep in mind, tags were only introduced around 2014 or so, so a lot of mods older than that don't support the new tag system. I was one of the modding section moderators on GTA forums around that time. It was our idea to use the tag system which was available on the site but not used anywhere else if I remember correctly. Unfortunately, it's basically impossible to go back and add tags to over 10 years worth of mods. But we updated as many as we can, and most new mods should contain tags if they follow the rules correctly. Anyway, a great site and you'll find a ton of good mods on GTA forums. One more site I'd recommend for downloading mods is GTA Inside. I don't really use this site myself, but they have pretty light rules on what you can post. So GTA Inside contains a lot of things like character models from other games or car models from other games. I'm not that interested in them, but I imagine a lot of people would be. They're fun to play around with when you're just starting out. Okay, so one last thing to wrap up this guide. Some pro tips. First pro tip. Make sure you install most of your mods in Mod Loader. You know Mod Loader can read basically all of the game's files. So if you download a mod that replaces the Infernus for example, and the mod instructions say replace Infernus.dff and Infernus.txt in GTA 3.img, you should know that you don't need to do that. You can simply put these files inside a folder in Mod Loader and you're ready to go. Second pro tip, if the mod you're downloading has a version number, add that version number to the mod folder name in Mod Loader. This is a good idea as you'll know exactly which version the mods are 
that you're running and you'll know whether you're behind in updates or not next time you view the mods page. I didn't tell you to do this while we were installing mods as the mods might get updated in the future. So make sure you label them correctly when installing mods yourself. Again, this is only if they have version numbers. A lot of mods won't, unfortunately. Third pro tip, if the game crashes and you're just stuck on a black screen, press the Windows key and tab at the same time to open task view. Open a new desktop, open task manager from the new desktop and force close the game. This is very useful if the game is stuck and you can't close it on your current desktop. And the last pro tip, check out the TJGM channel for even more in-depth modding tutorials to expand your modding knowledge. And subscribe so you don't miss more GTA modding videos. Also, if this guide has helped you in any way, be sure to give these videos a like, as this is the end of the guide. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this guide has helped you and made you better at modding San Andreas. If you know anyone who needs help modding San Andreas, be sure to send them this guide as I truly believe it's the most in-depth and accurate modding guide for San Andreas ever. You yourself probably won't take in everything in this guide on forced watch, so if you find yourself getting stuck later on, don't be afraid to come back and watch parts of the guide to give yourself a hand. If you're really stuck, join my discord, ask for help, and hopefully myself or someone else can give you a hand. You can also contact me on Twitter or Instagram at the following handles. I'd also like to give a special thanks to several people who helped me with the creation of this guide, including Ash735, Junior, Seaman, and Silent. All of them are fantastic modders, and I'll leave links to their socials in the description. It is possible I could end up doing more episodes of this guide in the future if I think I need to cover anything else, so keep an eye out on the channel for that. But for now, this is the end. Again, thank you for watching this guide. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you later.